Okay, so now we are going to start a mock interview for our student Aditi, and this mock is for uh, biomedical engineering M Tech program in IIT BHU. So Aditi, first of all, you tell us about yourself. Sir, I am Aditi Chakraborty from Kolkata. I did my B Tech uh, in biotechnology from G R N Rajasthan Vidya University in the year 2009 and then I did my MTech from Heritage Institute of Technology in the year 2012. Then I joined a company. I have more than eight years of working experience and uh, now again I want to pursue my PhD. So uh, um, then after uh, uh, completing of uh, work on of eight years, I joined a research lab and work as a project coordinator on which I worked on nanoparticles. Actually, from there, I got a very, uh, found it a very interesting subject. So I start learning about it. So I joined Jadapur University and did a course on nanoscience and nanotechnology on which I did the whole uh, knowledge of how this nanobiotechnology and their different applications in uh, different uh, medical purpose. So, and then I did a course, another course from Jadapur University itself. It's on herbal medicine. And apart from my publications, I published a book on metabolic syndromes on obstetric population of the birth outcome in Kolkata. And apart from that, uh, my latest publication in the Springer Journal Nature, a book chapter on the broader aspect of treating diabetes with the application of nanobiotechnology. I have uh, gone through this IIT BHU uh, project, which have been available in the biomedical department. I found it very interesting and uh, it's a uh, uh, one of the topic that is the 3D modeling of designing the lungs for the non-alcoholic uh, organ. So that topic is very interesting. I found in ITBHU. That's why I haven't applied. Okay. So do you know uh, PhD may take uh, uh, five years, six years, or maybe seven years? So yes, sir. Will it be comfortable for you to stay for this duration here? Yes. In between, will you, in between, will you try to get some other government job? No, sir. I am fully passionate to do PhD right now. So after PhD, what about your career? What do you have decided for your career? So I want to pursue my further career in research work only. Okay. So you are interested in biomedical and lungs. So do you understand the structure of lung? Yes, sir. Can tell us some parts of the lungs. So uh, lungs, it's from, started from nose, nose, then flare, flaring, then bronchioles, then bronchial, uh, bronchioles, and then the uh, alveolar. The alveolar has the main part where the oxygen and the carbon dioxide oxygen uh, exchange will take part. Okay. And uh, now tell me how many chambers are there? Only two chambers, sir. two lungs are there. Yes. Okay. Do you know about ECG? Yes, sir. Electrocardiogram. So what is the purpose of ECG? So ECG actually tells about the how each uh, um, means how the, each compartment of the heart has been pumping or walking. Systolic or diastolic function can be measured by this patient. So can you draw ECG waveform? Yes. Sir. General ECG waveform? Yes, sir. Okay. So what are the important peaks in that? Sir, so there are P, T, Q, R, S, T. Okay. And uh, you know, in uh, this biomedical engineering, we need some software knowledge, some mathematics knowledge also. So you are you comfortable with any of the software which may be useful in uh, the research activities for biomedical? So I have used some uh, in software for bioinformatics purpose for drug delivery, but uh, at present moment I doesn't remember. Are you aware about any programming language? So I have learned C C language, but uh, that was not in my practice now. 
Okay. How will you start your work? If you join here, then so how will you proceed for your PhD? Yeah. Hmm. What expectations do you have here and how you will proceed? So if I joined IIT BHU, then I have to, first of all, I have to start reading the journal based on how much work has been done on this particular aspect, on the particular project. So from there, I will definitely get some knowledge the how they are doing work and how I have to pursue and where is the lacking behind, which problem is not sorted out till yet. So I have to be find out those problems and then I have to work okay. on it. So take your uh, notebook and pen mm -hmm. and yes, draw sir. draw mm -hmm. y equal to x, y equal to x square, y equal to root x, all in the same plane. Sir, I will not do that, sir. Actually, I don't know. You cannot plot graph, graphs. Then sir, how you can analyze the data? There will be many waveform many variation so you don't understand the variation of one quantity with another then how will you make observations so i have to learn this actually i need some time to learn this okay. but i will definitely okay can i ask her? okay uh, am i audible aditi yes sir okay aditi so, tell me what is your background so i'm from biotechnology Okay, you are from biotechnology. From where you have completed your biotechnology? Sir, from Heritage Institute of Technology, Kolkata. Okay, so right now you got call for PhD, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so any specific prior research work you have in biotechnology, you know, which you want to proceed ahead in the biomedical department of IIT BHU? Any idea? Yes, sir, based on uh, actually nanobiotechnology. Okay, so define me. What do you mean by the nanobiotechnology? What does this term mean? Nanobiotechnology, I can say that it's a branch of study in which uh, biotechnology is been taken care by some nanoparticles. Means we are designing the drugs or any biomaterial on the nanoscale basis, and uh, I think it will be a very bright future because it work uh, on the direct target basis. We can design the drug. Okay, so have you undergone or have you gone through the any of the research work of IIT BHU professor? So, uh, the list of the list I will get uh, in the call later. No, no, that's what I'm asking. Can you name any of the professor under whom you want to work? Yes, sir. some professor PP, uh, I doesn't remember the name. Uh, he work on the 3D modeling of the um, lungs designing for non-alcoholic person. But both are two different things. Na? One way you are saying you want to work in the nanobiotechnology, one you are saying in the lungs disease. So don't you think both are separate? No, sir, it was a 3D modeling. So 3D modeling uh, is based on that only. The layer by layer they are drawing the uh, build the organ outside artificially. Okay, so do you know vaccine? Have you listened to the term vaccines? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me how can nanobiotechnology be used to develop more effective vac vaccines? Any idea? So by recombinant vaccines, we can produce by recombinant cloning with that viral particles. Any other idea? No, sir. Okay. So in lung disease, do you have any prior experience? No, sir. I don't have. So why you are interested in this topic then you don't have any hands-on experience then why you decided to go with this topic so i found it very interesting if i get so what the is the reason for, see if you find something interesting either uh, you know we love to read about that right first thing it can be the yes. option second either we have some work experience in that domain right either mm -hmm. uh, we already have done some courses related to that right so if you love to read about it, so can you tell me, have you done any literature review or literature survey related to these areas? So, but I did a publication on nanobiotechnology, but based on diabetes. Okay. So what was the final outcome of your publication? It was a review. It is a book chapter. Okay. So who are the, you know, basically eminent researcher whom work you take as a reference? 
uh, I can't get that question. Okay, fine. Okay, so can you tell me what are the current limitation of the nanobiotechnology and how they can be improved or what research can be done to overcome them? So limitations uh, um, as per the proper environment uh, to perform it because uh, we have to take care a lot uh, during the hygienic procedure while take that this uh, during this type of research. So I think this was the major Problem. Yeah. Okay, so if you have interest in nanobiotechnology, so can you tell me on basic level, how can nanobiotechnology be used to improve the accuracy of diagnostic test for the disease, for any of the disease? So for that... Tell me in practical sense, only, if you have any idea about that. Don't tell me it's practical definition. Okay, you got my question first, tell you. Yes, it means what type of uh, lab uh, should be there? For yeah, performing my this, question uh, is how can nanobiotechnology be used to improve the accuracy of some diagnostic test which we keep on performing for various reasons, right? Hmm. So, what is your view on this? So I think that uh, for that, the clean room purpose, which has been already mentioned, that this clean room should be there, 100, 100 clean room will should be there, so that uh, the accuracy should be maintained properly. At what scaling you are saying clean room? Clean room means um, uh, what I have knowledge about it that like for uh, doing this type of research, the clean room was there having a separate dress like PPE for that. We have to enter there and uh, they have all the sterilized, uh, sterilized uh, uh, pen, paper, everything is available there only. So we haven't carried anything from outside to inside. So by this, by doing this, if you maintain this type of things, then I think uh, we can do the, our research in a proper manner. Do you know any basically nanobiotechnology based product which, are, which is right now in the very commercial use? Just now. So, Ajiti, I don't know then why you are interested. I ask you a very basic question. Huh? So, basically, what is your USP? What you are offering to professor? Tell me now, frankly, that thing. See, you are going for PhD after BTEC, right? Yes, sir. So, when you are going for PhD, I always keep on telling you, there must be some things in you or in your academic profile, right? Mm. Either you have done some courses, either, either you have done some, as you told, you have done one publication, that is fine, right? That's a book chapter, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. if you don't know, you have done a publication in book chapter, then mm. you might have taken some references also, na? Yes, I have taken. So, you don't, know the, you don't know those references. What are those references? I asked this question to you. Yes. You even don't remember the name of them? No, sir. That's Why so? And second thing, if you have interest in nanobiotechnology, which is a very great research area, right? So you must be very clear why you have that research area interest. What is the current happening around that area, right? Mm -hmm. Is it yes. clear why you are the best fit for that? Okay, if you ask you if I ask you a question, why you are the best for nanobiotechnology? I have two students. One is Aditi, one is Sanyam. Hmm. So what do you have to offer me as a professor? And why I should take you for nanobiotechnology? So apart from of... one apart from one publication, what is the different thing you carry? So apart from that, I did a course from Jadapur University based on their nanoscience and nano technology where i learned the different applications how the different machineries uh, are being used in the different applications so that concept has been clear to me and okay can you tell me that... any of the application practical any application which is in right now in the practical application be in term of the vaccines built and of the diagnostic test can any of the application which you studied like in the sir, university so so like uh, sim and tem which has been used in nanotechnology definitely and afm which has been okay. used so what you got to learn there in this domain? What was your learning from Jadapur University course? So Jadapur University course tell us about that. Uh, what are the different applications? Means from where we are, we can use this nanotechnology. Okay, so I got your brain, point. Now uh, you got now you got to learn that. Uh, okay, uh, tomorrow I tell you. Okay, Aditi, uh, this is a computer, right? These are the mm. application of computer. Is it clear? Mm. So you can uh, do Zoom call, you can play, you can watch movie, you can do some. I'm taking one example, right? 
and you are uh, basically mind should not stop here only okay sir i know what are the different application that mm. anybody can search on google easily that professor don't need you to hire you okay aditi tell me what are the application according to you but in that application what is the advancement you want to do that matters a lot right if some if i'm saying you aditi you can play movie with this computer so your search should not end here okay sir i can see movie i can watch movie but sir how effectively i can watch movie how i can make this more impactful or more comfortable to watching movie on the laptop if you have undergone and learned some diagnostic test procedure some vaccine vaccine procedure they all are existing right now okay what what next what your knowledge is going to assist what is your finding what is the gap where you see the gap as a biotechnology background okay sir in a nanotechnology based product this is the gap i see and this is the where basically i want to contribute and to do this i need to your support i need to collaborate with the eminent professor who is currently working on the same domain and i believe you are the right person so like this you need to convince them right it's not about that sir mujhe ye pata sir mujhe ye pata hai knowledge to sabko hoga but wo pat, knowledge to google hai usko google mm. agar usko check hi karna to he will go for google why for aditi Google is an open source of knowledge, right? But yes. Aditi can give in the refined thing. Sir, I have done this literature review. Sir, this is the thing basically what I want to do. Now, in this thing, I believe you are the right person who can support me. Is it clear? Or when you ask why you are the best fit, then you can tell, sir, I have done some relevant course works in the biotechnology where I got uh, some opportunity to study the nanobiotechnology. And apart from that, I got some industrial exposure through a course or some, you know, external exposure through a course, which I did with Jadavpur University, right? And mm -hmm. uh, then uh, the knowledge which I gathered over from the multiple places by working under the different professor, I start working on my own book chapter publication. And for that, I have taken some eminent professor as a references. These are the name of few of them, right? And my conclusion and my final conclusion of my book chapter was this thing. And this I want to extend further. Then only you can channelize this thing, okay, right? Yes. So next, Tiagi sir will continue with you, right, Aditi? Yes. Sir. Okay, my Hello, Aditi. Yes, sir. Uh, Aditi, your motivation is तो अच्छी बात है उनको वो चाहिए तो कई क्वेश्चंस के आंसर तो तुमने दिए हैं लेकिन थोड़ा सा ना देखो बायोमेडिकल में इन सब में ना बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स की भी रिक्वायरमेंट होती है yes. इसलिए पीएचडी के वर्क में तो अभी टाइम है तो थोड़ा सा ना बेसिक ग्राफ्स स्ट्रेट लाइन ड्रॉ करना ठीक है y=x ड्रॉ करना y=x2 ये छोटे-छोटे ग्राफ एटलीस्ट देख के इनको प्रैक्टिस कर लो ये तुम्हें कंटेंट मिल जाएगा इनका हमारे वेबसाइट पे ही मेरे पैनल पे मेरे लेक्चर्स पड़े हुए हैं इनके ऊपर तो अच्छा। उनको देख उतना कर लो क्योंकि वो बायोमेडिकल में बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स में पूछ लेते हैं इतने छोटी छोटी चीजें अच्छा। कोडिंग नहीं हाँ। आती है तो आ, कोई बात नहीं लेकिन अब बोल सकते हो कि जो भी रिक्वायर्ड होगा आई विल लर्न ठीक है मोटिवेशन ज्यादा शो करना है कि मतलब करना है मुझे बस पीएचडी ठीक है तो बाकी आंसर ठीक है तुम्हारे कई सारे और ईसीजी को अच्छे तरीके से समझ लो ईसीजी की पूरी वेब फॉर्म कैसे चेक करते हैं तो उसको अच्छे तरीके से स्टडी करना है ठीक है सर चलो